In this tip of the day, let's take a look at one CNC's powerful toolpath groups. Now, what is a toolpath group? Well, simply put, a toolpath group is nothing more than a group of machining operations. Now, by default, if we look within the NC Manager, you can see the default name for this toolpath group is simply called toolpath group number one, and you can see we already have some machining operations within that group. We've profiled the outside, we've machined both of these tabs by profiling those, and we also have drilled all the half inch diameter holes. Now, let me give you an example of when you might want to use multiple toolpath groups. Let's say that for this particular job, there's two types of parts that are required. One part has the outside profile, just like we see here, the tabs profiled, the half inch holes drilled, and that's it. Let's say that's one part. Let's say that another part actually includes all of the above machining operations as well as drilling these one inch holes and machining this open pocket. So what we want to do is this. We're going to create a brand new toolpath group. Let's right hand mouse click and select new group. And by default, that's called toolpath group number two. Now, if you want to, this is actually already activated, but just to show you, you can right hand mouse click and select activate group. And now all the machining operations are going to be put within this group. Okay. So let's quickly head over here to our stock toolpaths. Let's perform a profile operation. We're going to climb cut this open pocket. That looks good. And I'm just going to use the default parameters here, half inch in mill. The depth looks good. All these parameters look great. Let's go ahead and execute that and there's the profile operation and that's been placed in our toolpath group number two. Now let's quickly drill those inch holes. Let's go to arc center. I'm going to grab both of those and again I'm just going to use the defaults. We already have a one inch diameter drill in there. I'm just going to quickly click next and finish to drill that. So look what we have here. We have two separate toolpath groups. Toolpath group number one, toolpath group number two. Now, if I want to generate CNC code for just this toolpath group up here, we can right hand mouse click, activate group, right click, post group. And what that's going to do is create a CNC program for just these machining operations within this group here. So let's click post. And I'll just give this a name. I'm just going to call this part one. And we'll click save and let one CNC generate the CNC code. Very good. All right, so there's a CNC program for that first part. Now what we want to do is we want to generate a CNC program that uses all of these machining operations. Well, how do we do that? All you need to do is this, right hand mouse click, and instead of selecting post group, you're going to select post all. Post all means that you're going to be creating a CNC program for all the machining operations within all the groups. I'm going to call this one part two. There we go. We'll click save on that. And there's a CNC program for that. So toolpath groups are very powerful. And before I end this video, I want to show you that you can actually rename the group names if you'd like. If you double click on a toolpath group, you can rename it. And we might call this one just part one. All right, and we'll click OK to that. So now the group's been renamed. Let's rename this second one. Just double click on that using the left mouse button. And I'm going to call this combo part one and part two. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Toolpath groups are extremely powerful. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.